Hey, buddy. How's it going? You want to welcome everybody? Blind Cat Rescue and Sanctuary in St. Falls, North Carolina. Tabitha, that was not very sweet. My poor brother, Scotch Boy. I know. He got weight today. He was not a fan of that. We know how it is. We don't like the scales either. No, we people avoid them too. Yeah. What buddy? Please don't tell me what the numbers were. That's my butterscotch boy. Hey, buddy butt. Buddy loves butt scratches, though. <laughs> They're good periscope. Got a little question mark going on. Do I like this? I think I do. I think I love this. Yeah. He loves his toys, too, don't you, buddy? Oh, Izzy, you guys don't be mean to Morris. Izzy, shameful, shameful. This is Izzy Busybody. She's always into everything. She wants to know what everyone's doing. Silly baby. Here's another one of our sweet little girls. This is our cinnamon chica Casey. Yes. Got a lot of gingers in this room. So don't we, sweet girl? Sweet little Casey. She's such a love bug. They just had visitors, so they're very happy. Right, baby? Yeah, they came from Georgia just to see you. Such a good girl, Casey. Uh, J.P. Ortega, we have two, three, four, four gingers in this room. Um, this is Casey. That's Buddy. That's Gina. We haven't met her yet. And that's Morris. Hi. My cinnamon chica. My foxy lady. Bow, 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 bow. Boxer. And <laughs> here's Buddy loving on toys. Hey, buddy. You love that toy. Hi, popcorn. How's it going? Huh? There's your spot. Oh, yeah. She's not a fan of having her head rubbed much because she's had a lot of ear problems in the past. She likes right here on her shoulder blades real good. Oh, popcorn. You're so cute. Princess popcorn. And here's my gingerbread girl, Gina. Gingerbread Gina. She is so sweet and loving. Yes, she is. I love my gingerbread Gina. I don't think there's a person in this world who doesn't love gingerbread genas. They're so sweet. They love laps and kisses. Thank you, Gina. <laughs> You're such a good girl. What are you doing there, popcorn? <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Here. Here. These. I put one for Gina or she'll get upset the popcorn has one too. There. Marmalade Man! That's my Marmalade Man, Morris. Um, AJ, in this building we have one room where all the cats are blind. This is this room. And we have one room where they have feline leukemia. Um, there's only one in there that's blind, and then we have one room where they have feline immunodeficiency virus, and there's only one in that room that is blind. Hey, bud. Handsome Morris. Oops. Sorry, buddy. What is going on, my marmalade man? Huh? What's going on, marmalade man, Morris? Oh, does that feel good? 
Uh, Kathy, a lot of blindness is caused by untreated uh, upper, upper respiratory infections and it spreads to their eyes. If the owners would just take them to the vet, you know, get them some antibiotics, they probably would still have their sight. We have some that are caused by car accidents. We have one that's caused by hypertension. Many different ways to go blind, huh, buddy? My handsome Mr. Morris. I'm always after something, aren't I? Aren't I, aren't I, aren't I? Oh, Tabitha's getting jealous. Hi, Tabitha. What you doing, Miss Tabitha? Tabitha, Tabitha, Tabitha. Well, it's pretty easy to tell the Orange Kitties apart. There's little differences in each and every one of them. Like Gina, she's the little girl with the white paws and the white face. You don't mistake Gina for anybody else. I love your shoes. I took both of them. I know share with popcorn. Buddy's the big orange with the shorter, more American style face. Right, buddy? Morris got the longer Asian short hair face. He's skinnier. And then Casey's the foofy one. Now, uh, we do not adopt our cats as permanent residents. We promise them that they'll have a forever home. They'll never have to worry for food or love or medical attention ever again. Hi, right, baby. Hi, LT. LT's a silly girl. She likes to hunker down for her pets. Yes. You're such a good baby. Thank you, LT. <laughs> What? You telling me something? Oh. You telling them something? Silly girl. He has her favorite spot right here. Oh, I need Tabitha. It was your turn. It was your turn, Miss Tabitha. Tabitha. <gasps> Tabitha. Oh. You know, Gina don't want to share that. They're here. Share that one. Gina doesn't need both. Gina doesn't need both. <laughs> Hi, Scotty, too hottie. Hi. Here's my handsome Scotty. <laughs> That's my big white boy. He's my marshmallow man. <gasps> He's my marshmallow man. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. Oh my goodness. He's our little gummy bear. So I have no teeth. That does not stop me from loving dry food when I get it. He's on a diet. I don't know why. He's not that squishy. <laughs> Hi, my Scotty. Scotty loves taking naps with visitors. Don't you, Scotty, too hotty? Don't you, Scotty, too hotty? Good boy. Hey, Sterling. What you doing there, handsome Sterling? Looking handsome as all get out. Looking handsome as all get out. Yes, he says I'm prince. I'm prince of this room. I'm sitting regally, letting them do their business. Talk about how handsome I am. Mm. Sterling. It's Sterling Von Fluffer Bottom. Thank you. Sterling has a very sandpaper he kisses. Yes, he does. Uh, Lynn, actually, Sterling came from a hoarding situation. He was cat number 27. He was covered in mice and absolutely filthy and feeling icky when he got here. Hi, buddy. Such a good boy. Yes, and you're such a good girl. 
<laughs> that looks so silly. I know, Izzy. Or, is anybody outside? Maybe seen Auntie, I know. Can you show me where they're at? This way, thank you. Maxie! Here's my Maxie Moosey. Hi, Maxie girl. Hi, Maxie girl. Yes, Maxie Moosey. I found her, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> come on, Izzy. You can come on up. Sweet Miss Manx. Miss Manx, you lost her sight to hypertension. I know, baby. You're helping. Her uh, owners had her, and she went blind overnight. So instead of taking her to the vet to figure out what was wrong, they got rid of her. And if they had just taken her to the vet, she'd probably have her sight now. She's on medication. She's doing very good. Very sweet girl who loves her brushes. Don't you make see moo? Look at that sweet face. Hi, Abby Gabberton. Miss Abby is our oldest resident. She's about 18 years old. Hey, Miss Abby. Can I move your toys? Poor Miss Abby. It's also a gummy bear. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. No one told her she was an old lady. She likes to do somersaults to catch her own tail. Great, sweet girl. Sometimes she gets a little crabby, likes to bop the other roommates for getting in her personal area. Yeah, when she was 14 years old, her owner's uh, landlord found out they had a cat and they weren't supposed to. So they got rid of her. She got really depressed. She didn't eat for about two weeks. She was on a feeding tube. If you go to our YouTube, you can see the video when she finally started eating on her own. Super sweet, super sad. I know. Yeah. Yeah, I know, Abby. Abby likes it now, don't you, baby? Yeah, I'm happy now. Yes, I am. Sweet girl. Bye, Maxie Moose. I'm coming back for those, you know. So, if you go and tie them while you're gone, Jen's like, I'll keep them warm. <laughs> Hey, Morris. <laughs> He's like, oh, it caught me. <laughs> Hi, Jalatude. You're in for once. You working hard? It's too hot out there. You work it's too so hot, hot in there. In there. You work so like, hard. I gotta come in. I gotta eat. And she loves all the food that everybody sends from Amazon from our wish list, huh? <laughs> I love all that food you guys send from us from Amazon on our wish list. If you guys would like to donate oh, she's like, ah, the food, Tom, go away. if you'd like to donate the food, you can go to our wish list. It's on Facebook at the very top when you click onto the Blind Cat Rescue page. And look at what's on the wish list. Cats love all the food that's on there. And they eat it right up. Don't we, Gally? Don't we? Gally's is my favorite thing is to smell your breath when you have something awesome, though. <laughs> That's my favorite. She loves this computer chair. Her and Tom fight over it. <laughs> Poor Tom. She took the chair. She's a girl. She doesn't have to share. <laughs> I know. It's just not fair. Poor Tom. You have to stay here and get loving. Jack looked over here. He's like, I'd be jealous right now I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> Go get her. Hi, honey, buddy. Doing cute boy. Doing cute boy. <laughs> yeah. Doing cute. 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 Oh. <laughs>
There's my Mackie. This is my buddy. It's my handsome Mr. Mac. You want to go eat again? Poor baby. So starving. No one ever feeds Mackies. No one ever feeds him. Look how skinty he is. Oh, poor baby. I'll back at you. Hey, boy. Of what? <laughs> That's my boy. Yeah. Thank you, Mackie. I know. He's such a good man. I know. You're jealous, Tom. How dare you? You've got pants in my hand. <laughs> Hi, Holly Dolly. You all stretched out today. Look how cute your little feet are. They're stalking us. <laughs> they look like a, a gang from a, a musical. <laughs> hey. Like how dare they look at somebody else? Kitty Holly Dolly. Might be a hmm? Sweet girl. Oh my goodness. <laughs> does that feel good, Holly? Said, oh yes, that does. That is definitely something I enjoy. She's such a good girl. She's one of our senior ladies. She was dumped after 10 years. And she was also horribly depressed. And the stress caused her to lose her sight. Right, sweetie? Yeah, people don't think that cats can get depressed, but they do. It's not just a person thing. You're such a good girl. Yes, I am. <laughs> You're such a good baby. You're all very good babies. Yeah. Silly babies. Let's head into room two. Room two is our feline leukemia room. Pepper's on the wheel. And Caroline, you took my scale. I was working with that. He said, well, now at the cat bed. <laughs> you smell the camera. It's right there. You know I don't do this on camera. Good boy. Way to go, Peps. Go, Pepper. Go, Pepper. Go. Y'all are silly, silly boys. And silly, silly girls. Hey, Stubbs. How's it going? Mr. Stubbs. You're doing so good. Thank you. Thank you for letting me give you some attention. You're just a pile of feet today, my sweet. The sweetie's Miss Sheila. Hi, sweet Sheila. Are you hugging your foot? Is that a good foot pillow? Is it not a stinky pillow? I would think it would be. I would think that would be a stinky foot. <laughs> Did I have this? Oh, thank you. Hi, Sheila. Uh, here we have about 90 cats. Hi, hi. Oh, thank you. There's a belly. She's a sweet, sweet girl. She's usually very shy, but sometimes she shows that belly. That's a rare treat indeed. I love when I get to see Sheila belly. They're the best bellies. Yes, they are. Sweet girl. Thank you. Hi, Natalie. Here's my pirate princess. 
What you doing? Huh? I'm so tired from bossing around, running this pirate ship. <laughs> Silly girl. She's so very sweet. She loves to follow you around and demand head bonks and lovings. Right, sweetie? Me, yeah. What a good girl, Miss Natalie. Oh, please don't stop. That's my favorite. <laughs> good girl. Everybody's on the tower today, huh? Hi, Noel. Good morning. Merry Christmas, Noel. She said it's not Christmas. It's not Christmas. Look at that sweet smile. Every day's Christmas for you. You get presents all the time. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? Are you just being the cutest thing ever? Yeah, I'm existing one. Sweet girl. You sweet girl. <laughs> you stop that. You stop that. I won't have adorable happening right here. No, I will not. It's too cute. Sweet baby. <laughs> Hi, Miss Noel. Yes. Yes, Natalie, I know. Poor baby. Poor baby. Hi, Cookie Monster. Hey, Cookbook. You get me love. You and your fur twin Bob there. Yeah. Bob kind of looks like a very big version of you. He's so cuter than Bob. <laughs> I'm cuter than Bob. First off, my name's Cookie. That's just super cute. <laughs> yeah. I miss Cookie. Yes. Such a sweet little cookie monster. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Cookie. You have such pretty eyes. You know that. Yeah, you do too, Bob. Even if they look angry most of the time. Right, Bob, Bob? Well, it looks like he's cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mad I'm cross-eyed. He's so handsome. Very sweet. Yeah. Very sweet, baby. And he loves getting his sugar checked in the morning. He starts kneading as soon as we pull him out. And he's like, I'm ready for my treats. Poke my ear. Give me treats. Yep. He's so funny. You're so funny, Bob. You're not supposed to like being poked in the ear. <laughs> I get lots of attention from both of you. Yeah, yeah and treats. Needed more attention. <laughs> <laughs> he's such a good boy. You just a good boy, Bob. Bubby. Mm, Bubby Reno. <laughs> you got such a cute little nose. Yeah. It's in total contrast to your chunker cheeks. What do you want, Miss Journey? Hmm. She just sneaks up on you. She's nowhere to be seen, and then suddenly there's Journey next to you. Yeah. She's always doing this with her tail, whether she's happy or not. It's always going. Right, Journey? Caroline. She was like, this is my scale. No one gets near it. No one gets weighed today. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Journey. You're such a good girl. She's so funny. She's a funny little girl. Oh, it will excuse you, Pepper. <laughs> I know. He just walked right in front of you. Like, you weren't even getting your special time in the spotlight. Like it's just pepper hour or something. Is it pepper hour? Huh? For the pepper dapper dude? Thank you, Kathy, for the kisses. <laughs> Way to go, Pepper. You're such a doof nugget. She's such a good girl. Poor Caroline. 
they keep walking by your special bed. That's not at all a very important piece of equipment that I need back very soon. <laughs> no. It's not even on. We don't even know how much you weigh with it not being on, sweetie. You're silly. You're silly, really, really. You're silly, really, 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 really. She has such a pretty face. Look, I'm not even pink jelly beans. <laughs> how are you doing, Chappie? Where are you, Chappie? First she's licking it and then she goes in different places to find it, see? <laughs> <laughs> she goes both sometimes. She's weird. You're just a weird girl. You're a weird girl. I love to play. I love to play. And I love to sit up higher than all the other kitties. No, they're watching. Here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know where to bathe. You don't want to know. I just don't know where to bathe. Is it Daffy? It's on your bed. <gasps> I don't want to play right now. Oh, such a good Taffy. She always has the prettiest eyeliner on. Yeah, she still won't tell me. She still won't tell me where she gets it. Can you see this girl? So pretty. And here's the new F.E.O.B. girl. Frankie. Miss Frankie. You've got a stinky pillow too. Yeah. You kitties just love stinky feet pillows, huh? <laughs> hey, don't tell my my feet stinks. They does not. Say, my sweet lady, my feet are powder fresh. Yes, sweet girl. Look at those beautiful blue eyes. Huh? What? She's like, why aren't you petting me? I know you're just standing there. I'm being an adorable pile of feet. What a good Miss Frankie. Frank and beans. She never called me that. That is not very flattering. They have cute little beans. Little black jelly beans. Hi, sweet girl. I think everybody else is enjoying the heat. I know, you're so sleepy. Hey, stop. <laughs> Cookie. Hi, Liza. I'm not bother you. I'm just say hi. I know Liza. I know Miss Liza. I sit there. Here we go. Hi, sweetie. Then Frankie's pretty small. I think she right now she's the smallest in the room, but she just got here. She's gonna get bigger. Great cookie. Uh, Fallon, we usually take a pair of like human nail clippers once a week and just make sure not to cut the pink part of their toe. Just put the little tips off so they're not too sharp. Great studs. Some kitties do better than others at it. You're just silly. You're just silly, really, really. Let's head into one. Sorry. You're good. Room one is our FIV room. We get some new visitors in. The kitties are so excited they heard them come in. There's the twins. That's Checker. There's Domino. Domino loves everybody. He has a soft spot for somebody who loves everybody. Here's my boys. Oh, at the top is Jerry Berry. Hey, Jerry Bear. And at the bottom is Coltrane. Chugga chugga. Coltrane, I'm coming for you. I say hi to Jerry. Jerry Bear. Jerry Bear. Jerry Berry. Is that how you talk? Yeah, he's a bit of a talker. He's a bit of a talker, but we got a lot in here that talk. Oh yeah, need your ear for you. 
How's that? You see how it was bothering you? Yeah, hold on. Hold on a little bit more. A little bit more. Goodness. I know. There's my cold bear. He was waiting so patiently. Hmm. Is that being a good boy today? Uh, we keep them clipped just in case, um, like when visitors pick them up and stuff, we don't want them to accidentally hurt somebody. Keep them a little dull so they don't hurt anybody when they jump off of them or give them lovings and meetings and bunny kicks. Right, Cole? Mm. <gasps> right, Cole? Cole McGinn. <laughs> Jerry, he's like, um, excuse you, we weren't done, we weren't done. Oh, does that feel good? He said, oh, that, that was pretty good. I like what you did there. Dear bear. <gasps> Dear bear bear. Oh, you've had a hard day of following me around, huh, buddy? We weren't doing anything. We caught you. Hey, Checker. Somebody coming in? Hi. What's you doing? You're judging. <laughs> yeah. I don't have meds. I'm sorry. Hi, Simba. You can run from me all you want. I don't have any meds. Simba. That's why he's running from me. Is that off? Hey. He's like, never mind. She's not taking me. She's not taking me. Hi, Checker. Jim yes. Checkers. There's Domino. Domino has to love on everybody because everybody's getting love, but you know. He's a sweet little gummy bear. There he Hi, Simba. Come on. Yes, Kim, these two are brothers who came from the same litter. Hi. The little one is Domino, and the big one is Checker. And this big one is Simba. He's not related, but he loves everybody. Simba, you are my son. <laughs> I know, buddy. He said, like, I get real tired of you quoting Disney movies at me. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing it. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. Yeah. Yeah. He has a lot to talk about. Don't you, Sim, bud? Hi, Colonel. I was looking for you. I was looking for you, Bossy Bridges. What you doing, Bossy Bridges? Yeah. Colonel is such a bossy old man. Yes, he is. You always look so cheeky. Yeah? You always up to something? He's truly the colonel of this room. He likes to tell everybody. What do you Oh, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. said I licked too much hair. I was licking my hair and it tickled my nose. Silly Colonel. Colonel likes to boss everybody around, but he's very fair. He says I have to protect this room. It's my room. Nobody else is outside. You guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. Rusty, you're crazy. Rusty, Rusty, Dusty, what you doing? Rusty's our local man. He's very, very local. As a matter of fact, he was thrown out the woods directly in front of the shelter. When he finally found us, we caught him and we got a test on and found out he was FIV. So he came to live with us, right Rusty? He was severely malnourished, his hair was not growing. 
and he was so dehydrated we could barely get an IV needle in him to help him. But now Rusty Dusty is a whopping 16 pounds. Yeah, I think it was 10 pounds when he got here. Which for him is not good. Which for him is not good. Hi, bear butt. This is bear's butt. These two have been playing all day. And Cole and Bear were playing earlier. You got him. Get him. Get him. Oh, you won, Bear. I'll get you now. <laughs> I'm a vicious bear. It's one of those nature documentaries, huh? Wild bear. Bear loves that corner. It's the coolest corner of the patio. That and Sarge's corner are the two coolest corners. And this is socks. Okay, yeah, you want the you want the Yeah, I'll get it. Sweet sock. And pearl. Hi, Callan. Hi, Callan. Guys, this is Callan and he's gonna read to the cats for you all for a little bit. So if you'll sit down and start reading and they'll be coming in so you can pet and read at the same time. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Puck looked away and tossed her head. I may or may not come, she said. I am a cat who is deeply dissatisfied, and I'll tell you when I decide. I said, cat, you better come home. I could close the store and lock the bolt. And you'd spend the night in the snow in the cold snow. Cat, you better come home. She said, I'd rather be with a cat who needs terrible faith than live with a man who can't appreciate that a cat is dependent on true high road and needs a little high class chat. <laughs> I've seen the food that you feed your guests in the turkey, the tuna, and the chicken breast, and you don't share it with your cat, no sir, no way, not even a little plate. And I said, Cat, you better come home. I'm not about to stand here and argue with the cat. What would the next door neighbors think of that? Cat, you better come home. Well, I never, she said, and she turned into Huff. You've seen the last of your dear cat, Huff. She left with the hmm in a sardonic laugh, and she uh, left for a year and a half. I felt so bad full of guilt and shame. I walked around town calling her name <laughs> <laughs> with a great big platter of chatter bread and an ounce of caviar in my hand. Okay, I wish you'd come home. Come home, old pup. Come home to us. There's a lot of new benefits I'd like to discuss. Okay, please come home. <laughs> you like that, Terry? I'm a fan of it. <laughs> I saw her six months later in a cat magazine. She was the number one TV cat food queen with a flat contract with a cat food firm and her hair was done up in a firm. I could tell it was Puff even though she was wrapped in a white mink stole and a cheap for cats. She was lying on a beach in the south of Greece and had changed her name to Clarice. In the story, it said that she was voted cats of all cats by the Greeks, and it quoted the noted poet who said, Clarice is a national treasure and a centerpiece. And it said that she lived in a ten-room manse and ate fresh fish from in France. And that famous people visited her, and she spoke to them in a European purr, Oh cat, you better come home, you're no queen, but who are you? And your fans can't love you like the true friends do. Okay, you better go home. She moved to Avia and Valencia, 
and then to Copenhagen with a dog named Jeans. She had rich clothes and she had rich friends. Her and George just in the cooks and maids with long, long braids, a big brass band for her braids. A string of minions to print and couple two comedians to make her trouble. A swimming instructor, a butler named Bruce, and a ballot coach, a German masseuse. Such luxury, the vast expense, the thing she didn't have was common sense. She gave away gifts like she was Saint Nicholas, her diamond bill was just ridiculous. And Jen saw the bill and began to growl, she jumped that dog for a great four down. Oh, cat, you better come home. You're a top cat now, and you're riding high, but they'll know you in the room when the well runs dry, so, oh, cat, you better come home. She spent a gazillion dollars on a yacht built in the shape of a flower pot, and nobody told her that a pot will float, so she nailed from Copenhagen with her owl and dream book. And the champagne popped and the music played and the people clapped in the promenade. And the boat blew up and the owl cried who and puff cried no and the owl flew. But the boat said balloons. And then the cat went down in a watery abyss. Everyone stood by the waterside and watched the bubbles and softly cried, Oh, darling cat, oh, angel flower, and a team of vibrators do for an hour. And when it got too sad to watch them, they, hang, they hung out a sign, uh, Resist the Cat Possum, <laughs> and went to a feast at Le Cafe Triste, assuming the beast was at least deceased. That little glass I heard until the early morning when the house was built. It came scratch, scratch from the morning so but there were her nose pressed against the pain. Birds in her fur and drenched from the rain with tears in, in her ears and big puffy eyelids stood a former top cat who had the skins. She looked along the homemade crutch so she could hardly stand. She waited so much she crossed another night and pounds. No wonder her tail dragged on the ground and her tongue hung out on her double chin. She looked like she's something that a cat dragged in. Big dark pouches underneath her eyes, she cried as me surprised. Oh cat, I'm glad you came home. No need to explain my old cat friend. I'm just glad this I'm just glad to have you back again. Yes, I am. I am so glad you came back. I picked her up, my old first sack. She, uh, she cried, easy, Jack, take it easy on my back. I have bad back problems, and I'm not too swift on account of the rich life I live. I'm gonna give up gravy and goldfish pies, ragu of robin thighs. Duffy fries and frog filet, mouse morsels, and serve on it. While cats in a chocolate sauce soup of collie paws, chihuahuas and cheddar cheese, chuck roast milk, chicken beans, and one more thing, I know it well, a cat should never drink muscatel. She went on a high fiber diet at once and her and was her old self in about two months. With a spring in her step and a ring in her eyes, she hopped the window sill and sit there inside. If other cats could only know to hang their hats on the status quo and make the best of what they got and be who you are and not what you're not. For the very worst thing that a cat can do is make all its dreams come true. So cats, you better come home. You can seek your fortune but never list and remember your name and address. Kiss somebody. 
Good job. Do you like that girl? He said, yeah, I like the part where he got famous and got a bunch of cool stuff. I want that. Jerry had a ball, didn't you, buddy? Thank you so much. Domino really enjoyed it, too, didn't you, Dom? Yeah, you're such good babies. Well, thank you. And have fun with the cats. Hi, Miss Fox. Such a sweet baby. Right, Miss Soxie? Right, Mr. Bear? That came in to hear it. You're such a good boy. You're all such very good babies. Right, Pearl? Sweet Pearl's our only blind FIV girl. She's only one of two girls in general in this room. Just her and Miss Sox. FIV's more of a dude thing. Right, sweet baby? Because girls don't tend to fight over territory like Boys, Everybody's gotten so sleepy. <laughs> Is it a bedtime story? Yeah, Simba enjoyed it too. He just sat there the whole time watching. Oh, you're such a good boy. <laughs> Poor bear. I knocked you out. Silly baby. Hi, Cole. Let's say hi to Sarge real quick. He's in his favorite spot. Back out in the heat, huh? Why didn't you come in and enjoy the air? I didn't know there was a person in there. Hey, Sorgi. He's so handsome. My Sergeant Chunker cheeks. Oh, good boy, Sarge. No, he makes me do acrobatics to get to him. He expects it, don't you, buddy? You're so good, Mr. Sergeant. Thank you. Sergeant loves attention. He just doesn't like a lot of it. And this is his favorite spot. This and his cardboard. He loves cardboard. Almost as much as Simba. Right, buddy? Yeah, Simba's his best friend. Hey, Cole. You being a good boy. What, were you playing again? So what, I didn't do it. It looks like we came across like a, a murder scene. I know. <laughs> I'm innocent. I didn't do it. I did it. I did it. I swear I didn't. Poor bear. Oh, done it. <laughs> and he just lays there like. Uh, oh. Are you playing the scene, huh? Are you playing the scene? <laughs> He's, I'm very good at it. Mm -hmm. Silly boy. You guys are all so. Bye, dear bear. And thank you guys so much for joining us today. Don't forget to visit our website, blindcatrescue.com. You can find links to all our social media, including Facebook, which you're on, of course, uh, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also visit our website and watch the cats live on our different cameras, like Newstream and MeShare. You can learn how to sponsor the cats, or you can just read their stories by clicking on Meet the Cats. Right, Miss Cora? Find out how they got here. Hi, sweet pea. His core is a love. <laughs> Hi, Tom. We'll see you guys again soon. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful day.